It's Laura here from Hyper Stamper. Welcome back. And this is a beautiful journal. This was actually um, back in October. Somebody saw the cover of this and, and loved it. So I um, have stuffed it and hopefully uh, somebody will love this as much as I do. It is a book from uh, the turn of the century and it's called Daisy and it has it's from the pansy series, hence the uh, beautiful half circle of pansies here and the butterflies. Um, we've got this beautiful little image on the back. It's just precious. So I have put on the side some vintage beads as a bangle and they are held on by this vintage brooch here. Uh, so that in and of itself is just lovely. I didn't have to do a lot to this cover, so I pretty much left it alone to its own beauty. You're going to see a lot of pansy themed things in here. Ephemera, which is all completely 100% authentic antique and vintage ephemera. Just a few uh, tea dyed pages that I made for extra journaling space. So let's have a look through here. We've got original inscription here from 1908, which is later than the date of publication on this one. Look at that, Marcel Marceau, if, if you're my age, you know who that is, uh, French mime. <laughs> and that's from a 1950s um, theater arts magazine. Some really fun clusters in here, some banknotes from the 1920s. A lovely uh, children's page here from the third reader uh, from the late 1800s. Dr. Zeus vintage page here. And this is from Folklores and Fairy Tales here. And then I just made a pretty little booklet here. It's got a little pansy image here. And I put some antique paper in there. Isn't that sweet? I love that. And a children's book page here from the 1930s. And a vintage scorecard from a game. And then under this vintage upholstery fabric is just another piece of antique paper for a hidden journaling spot. And a nice little uh, page from a children's book from the 30s as well. One of those nice fuzzy cardstock pages. And there's a beautiful image from a famous fable. More fun clusters. It says the key to yesterday, which I love. I pulled that from a book. And this is um, from Cape Cod. Isn't that pretty little house there? From the 1930s. And over here we have this plate from another old book from the 1900s. It's a fun, really good photography for the age of that book. And I love the copyright sign up there, 1920s. Little tiny little booklet here as well, filled with antique paper and a vintage cover. A store receipt from 1950s from an ice cream parlor. And look at this with the pansies on here. A little something for you. And back in the day, they used to reuse the cards over and over. So they probably, somebody had signed that piece. So they cut that piece out. I love that. It's awesome. I put a little vintage stamp in here. Greater Arts, tea dyed pages. This is from a um, vintage watercolor book. And how to paint pansies. Isn't that great? I love it. And I had been collecting this pansy ephemera for about six months prior to uh, putting it in this book here. And there is another vintage botanical book page with pansies. And here is something absolutely precious. I found this in a hundred year old book and it had pressed flowers in it. But what do you think that is? Isn't that amazing? I'm really quite pleased with that little find. Over here is a 1955 uh, American Roads map from the American Road Highway Atlas, 1938 French Almanac page. Uh, and this is just a beautiful landscape village photo. And that is from 1907. Isn't that something? And this is just really fun. It's a how to do the tango from the 50s from a... Um, a dance book. Isn't that great? Look at that. Oh, so fabulous. Have lots of fun with that. Just a little journaling envelope there. Vintage doily. And this is the piece de resistance here. Look at this beautiful hanky. It's a circle. So it would sort of be like a doily almost uh, with embroidered pansies on there. And this is another one of those vintage watercolor instruction pages here. And then I've got, I found this in a magazine. It's a, um, how to make a flower coaster. And of course, that's another pansy there. Little hidden spot under there, little poem here. It's a long way to Tipperary. I love that from the war 
And these are receipts from Pearl Shop. And they've got sevens on them. There we go. And Memphis, Tennessee, that page is in Portland, Maine. Another envelope here, another pocket. Look at this from a vintage botanical page. Doesn't get more pansy than that, eh? Oh, look at that. A little, just a little, um, it's not vintage, it's modern, but it has really pretty quotes in it. Uh, this is from the 1850s, from a little history of France there. Isn't that neat? And another children's book page here and here. And vintage recipe page. Look at that. That is so telling of the 50s, eh? The colors and the styling, the food styling. More children's book pages here. And why did uh, why they went to Daisy Dell. So there's more of that Daisy theme coming into play. Uh, definitely got a flower theme going on here, right? Look at that from that same watercolor book. More pansies. A whole vase full. Not beautiful chrysanthemums. This is from a, a bird watcher's log book. That's vintage. And more birds here. A little cluster there from the 30s. And that is from the 1950s. And look at that, 1959 Theater Arts. How awesome is that? Yeah, pretty cool. Very famous actors there. Here is a little um, removable. Now, the, here's something very special. This is a little vintage piece. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but there are pressed pansies in there. The teeniest, tiny, little pansies under there. And I just thought that was spectacular. I believe they were earrings, and I just pulled them off. This is from the 1800s, and it's from this book, the pansy. No, it's not. It's from another children's book, but it just had the word pansy on there. And although it's been rubbed off, there's a, a pansy image there. I thought that was pretty cool. More antique paper in there. And on this side, just another little journaling booklet for you with some vintage wallpaper there. Let's put that back on there. How special is this, right? I love it. So it is not a, a tall book, there's the last pages of the book at the end, uh, but it is um, thick, chunky, chunky, chunky. So I'm going to put that on Etsy now, hyperstamper.etsy.com. I hope you'll subscribe and I hope you will visit my shop so you can see more. I'll talk to you soon.